Hello, I'm Michael Forshaw, Hardware Manager here at Solutions PT. Hi, my name is Tom, I'm a Hardware Apprentice, also at Solutions PT. And today we're going to be talking about the new flagship server from Stratus, and that's the ZTC Endurance. First thing we'll do is head into the ZTC Endurance web interface and log in. Here we're presented with this dashboard showing the various components of the Endurance system. That's two storage modules, two compute modules, two I.O. modules, and two independent power supplies, both capable of powering the entire system. Tom will now quickly show us how easy it is to change these in case there's a fault. Now we'll head back to the web interface and drill a little more into the hardware. So this is our view of the hardware and in volumes we can see our two uh, fault tolerance storage devices. Um, back in the hardware we can see that Compute Module A is currently in charge of both I.O. modules and both storage modules. Cause what we'll do now is switch to maintenance mode on storage module A effectively simulating the ZTC Endurance system identifying an error or fault on that compute module, isolating the error by transferring the operational state to the healthy compute module, and as part of the Stratus service, we then receive proactively a replacement module. While smart exchange is happening in the background, I'll just discuss how that works in a little bit more detail. At any moment in time, ZTC Endurance has one active compute module and one standby module linked by a PCI fabric to each of the storage and I.O. modules. If ZTC Endurance detects a fault on the active compute module, for example, processor faults, memory faults, power, electrical or thermal faults, Smart Exchange is initiated to move the workload to the standby reconfigure the PCI fabric and promote the standby module to active. This happens without any downtime. Over to Tom to show us how to change the physical compute module following a failure. To remove the faulty module, I just unclip the module without the need for any tools and carefully slide it out of the chassis. I then insert the replacement module and clip it into place. ZTC Endurance will do the rest. Storage subsystem redundancy is independent of the compute modules. If a drive or storage array fails, service is maintained through the mirrored storage array. A replacement storage array is provided and easily exchanged with the faulty module. I.O. system redundancy works in exactly the same way. If a fault's identified, the faulty module is taken out of commission, a replacement module is provided, and again can be easily and toollessly exchanged. Back onto the compute modules. So the only thing that remains to do here is to bring compute module A back into commission. Of course, this will be handled automatically by ZTC Endurance in the case of a genuine failure. You'll see here that compute module B is the active compute module and it has control of IO modules A and B and storage modules A and B. And that will remain true even when we bring compute module A back online. And that's it. We've exchanged our faulty modules, everything's back up and running, and that just leaves me to say thank you for watching.